Amber Court, Malaysia's second most haunted place. Before we venture into what Amber Court is like now, let's go back in time to find out what happened that made this place so haunted. Amber Court was developed in 1995, designed as a resort apartment concept by the company Villa Genting Development. Yet, in the year 2000, the company suffered financial issues that occurred two years after the Malaysian financial crisis in the years of 1997 and 1998 due to liquidation. Many of the property owners of the units refused to pay for the service and maintenance fees, along with the building structures suffered by the wet and foggy weather the building eventually began to decay over time. After many years in 2012, the building was partially renovated along with a new paint job at some areas. But it didn't take much longer for the building to decay once again. Gunting Highlands itself has been attracted to unfortunate events such as gory murders that found parts of a woman's body in 2013, terrible accidents that led to the death of many citizens and most commonly, suicides that mostly occur to those who grieve their financial losses when gambling at the casino. Today, the Amber Court situates itself closely to the First World Hotel, available for booking as a homestay and even for rent. With only a few homestays available at the Amber Court, you can rent an entire apartment for around 100 ringgit a night. Indoor parking, a mini market, a laundromat and even sex workers can be found at the Amber Court. Although most of it is occupied by foreign workers on the lower floors working on constructions on Gunting Highlands, it is still possible to get a room if you're daring to stay the night there. The stories of Amber Court has stretched from suicides, murders, doors opening, unexplained knocks and the worst of all, the appearance of a woman in your bedroom. One of the most infamous stories is of Richard and Cindy who are a couple that decided to stay at the Amber Court Apartments. Cindy was a promoter while Richard was a mechanic. As Richard was at the casino, Cindy returned to the apartment to take a shower, leaving her dress on the bed. As she returned from her shower, she noticed strands of long hair on the bed, thinking it was the cleaner lady being sloppy. As she got dressed, she noticed a cheong sum in the cabinet known as a traditional Chinese outfit. Feeling frustrated, she went to work looking to talk about it to Richard later on. As Richard arrived home, he started feeling a cold breeze as he entered the apartment bedroom. When he entered his room, he saw a woman sitting on the bed, facing backwards, wearing a red cheong sam. He asked the woman who she was, but she gave no response. When he turned towards the mirror, there was no reflection of this woman. Richard ran away in fear and immediately checked out with his wife never to return to the apartment. It was tough to find any evidence on the hauntings of the Amber Court apartment, yet I found these videos that showed some eerie occurrences that was taped by locals. With so much death that happened at the Amber Court, from abandoned wrecked cars found in the parking lot to mysterious doors left locked away, do you believe the owners are hiding something from the public? With months of lower occupancy rates at the Amber Court, the place itself has been hit by the pandemic, leaving the place even more abandoned than it already is. Or... is it? This is Wise Advice. subscribe if you haven't, thanks for watching.